that background is something that attracted the search committee and really uh, looked at a variety of background and a variety of experiences in really uh, big and progressive systems. And I think that has really helped me uh, be prepared for this position. One of the things that really attracted me to Middlesex was its roots in the community and its connections to its diverse communities. Um, as you know, the college serves many communities uh, and that it's really important that we are connected and a part of all of those communities. So we're enjoying that diversity of communities that we see around here. As I mentioned in the beginning, Middlesex is really a strong college. Uh, it's really a recognized leader within the state. Uh, just last week we had the Commissioner of Higher Education, Richard Freeland, uh, at our Board of Trustee meetings and our college leadership meeting. And in both meetings he said, you know, Middlesex is really a leader in the state and I see the people at the college are very proud but not complacent at all. They believe that they do a lot of things well and could do things better. So they really are proud of being a leader in the state but many people want to take it to the next level, really want to make Middlesex a leader in the nation in community colleges. So that I really see my job is to serve the folks there to really engage with them, really empower them, and really energize them to take this college to the next level. Maybe Talking we'll about okay. formal, uh, they told us the work would start on June 1st, just yeah. ask, Thanks. you know, yeah. yesterday. And that, that's an $18.7 million project, and it's, you know, been a complicated project. It's renovating a historic structure in the middle of a busy city is no easy task. So we're glad to see this is finally getting underway and that we can really have a home for our performing arts departments in that building. So all funding has been secured yes. for that pro project yes. now? Mm -hmm. yeah. It is all in place for that, and we're, you know, the planning, it's down to really details. Mm -hmm. So they're really, you know, I talked with uh, my team on Monday, and they really said it is going to be ready to go June 1st. We, you're going to be invited to a groundbreaking. We're just trying to figure out exactly where that is, but I can guarantee you that there will be great pizza and great hot dogs. <laughs> I think you're going to see that this college is going to be very committed to the city. It's going to be very committed to all our communities that we serve, and we're going to stay deeply involved here. You obviously have uh, uh, a lot of uh, different experiences at uh, different, um, uh, um, you know, higher education uh, uh, facilities. So you're coming from the outside. You see Middlesex and rooted in this uh, this community. But wh what do you see that out there? That uh, might be a good uh, um, a, a good program or, or something to start o over here. I mean, uh, is there anything that's on your plate that you think that uh, that uh, might be a, a good mix or a good fit? I'm starting to ask about what are the growing industries in this area? Yeah. What are the the ones that are looking for um, people with um, two year degrees? Where can we provide a good workforce? And because our workforce development programs, those are all really geared towards how do we provide uh, students who graduate, who are, who are the employees that these people want to hire. There may be additional um, opportunities in those areas. Um, we may have more opportunities in some of the growing technology sector in this area. So in IT, networking, um, cybersecurity. So again, looking at those growing areas and saying, are these uh, places where our students can get good jobs? So that's what we'd really like to look at. When it comes to the mission, along those lines, when it comes to the mission of the college, do you view it more as a, as Jim mentioned, a, a job training um, operation, or is it more as a conduit to students who want to get to a four-year college? Like it's both. Well. They express an interest in transfer, probably about one-third. Uh, really look at a career, but that gets, as I point out with biotechnology, that gets really a gray area. Mm -hmm. So yes, they're going to get a two-year degree, and yes, they may start working in an entry-level job in the biotechnology field. Mm -hmm. It's only so that they can pay for their next degree. So a lot of times we're looking at stackable credentials and ones that lead not just to a two-year degree and a job, but ones that lead to a two-year degree, a job, and transfer. So there's those lines between what is um, workforce development and what is transfer get really blurred very quickly. What do you see as the mission, though? Do you have a, you know, in your heart, in your mm -hmm. head, what, what do you see as the mission of the community? Serving college? the needs of the community. 
what are the needs of this community? And that's what I'm, I'm learning about and trying to really understand it more clearly. So as I said, looking at whether it's technology, we talked to UMass all about transfer. They're a strong engineering school. Can we partner with them? We've recently redone all our engineering curriculum so our students go through and will transfer in a much more seamless way. So it's all of the above on that. It's not an either or right now. But if you also look at some of the, the follow-up research that's been, been done on, on this, it's showing that um, as you see in the vision project from uh, the Board of Higher Education of Massachusetts, that education and higher education is critical to the economic development of the state. Um, as they like to say, we don't have great weather here, right? We don't have any natural resources. We have a lot of smart people that are well educated. And that if we're going to grow and continue to grow as a state, if we're going to re uh, keep this standard of living that we have here, it's going to be by having a smart and well educated workforce. It's, it's hard to judge us alone on our graduation, right? I would say if we have a student who comes in and takes two accounting courses because they want to improve the bottom line of their business and they succeed and their business succeeds, we've done our job. But they don't show up in our graduation statistics. Students who uh, transfer early don't show up as, as graduates. So a lot of that graduation rate is always going to be low. Could we do better? Absolutely. We have, an, we have a half dozen initiatives, uh, at least at the college, focusing on how do we get students through faster. We've put in a lot of grant applications. We're getting over $6 million a year in grants. That we have almost all of them focused on improving student success. We're one of the three community colleges in the state recognized for uh, the most improvement in our graduation rate in the last few years under the Vision Project under the big three completion goals that they put out.